This is a pedon, not a flag like I was made aware of in my last video. So yeah, pedon, that's, I learn a new thing every day. I had no idea what a pedon was, but now I do. So thank you very much for correcting me on this because I like to learn new things and this is actually very interesting. But today it is a bit seasonal actually. So it is currently very, very close to Halloween and I decided while we're in this episode, I may as well make stuff a bit more spooky. So we're going to get some jack-o'-lanterns. Let's get decorated. Great. Hell yeah. Got a containment breach. The pumpkins. They're out of here. They're going on the run. Oh. Wait a second. I just got to lay. Hello, cutie. How you doing? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Okay, so today I've got some big plans. You see this entire area here? We are finally on the point where I decided to do something with it. Now, I've been hoping and ahhing about what I actually want to put here, but now I'm going to make a little bit of a village here. And it's going to be where all of my trades go. So I'm going to have a big villager hall where the main trades go. And then I'm going to have an actual village for where the villagers can breed and just populate my area. That's what it's going to be. Now, we, guys, we have a big episode ahead of us. I think the villagers trading hall is the first thing we should do with them build around it, essentially. So that's like middle area so probably like right there so let's start working on that and of course it's probably going to be typical adam time-lapse fashion so let's do this Okay, so I'd said at some point that I was going to help describe a bit what I'm building better and a bit like more of my process. So I'm going to have a low down sort of ceiling here. Then the majority of the tallness of this build, is that even a word? It probably is. It's going to be the roof essentially. So this is the main level and then the roof is going to go all the way up to like you can't tell, maybe, but like there. <laughs> but it's all going to be one floor, so you're going to see all the way up to the roof from inside. I think it's going to look really nice. So this is a nice way to do stuff. Like you have a low down wall, but really tall ceiling, and it looks real good. So that is what I'm doing, and I'm going to carry on with my time lapse. Let's go. Okay, so here, I've never actually built anything like this before. Like, this is a really cool design. I've got the white walls with a little bit of fences in the middle. And I think it looks really nice. If you come over to this side, this is looking really, really good, actually. Look at that. I'm really happy with how this turned out, actually. Look at that. I've got little windows there as well. I nearly ran out of deep slate. Like, this is all my deep slate left. <laughs> so I did some windows to get enough deep slate to finish the roof. But yeah, look at this. So now we just need some interior infrastructure. If I show you a little bit. We're going to have a few pillars in here and some beams and banisters around here. So hopefully it starts to look good inside as well. So let's get to that. Okay, okay, and welcome back, and hopefully, as I say hopefully, this place is monster-proof. Now, I've got a lot of lights in here, a lot of them hanging, and some of them are lower than others, like this one here, but I think this is going to look really good in here. Of course, I'm going to have my first set of villagers in these little sets here, and I haven't actually done a villager trading hall for a while, so this may work, it, it may not. Maybe I might have like a technical area I don't know about, so we're going to find out when I try and get them in here. But over here, I've got a little stairway for myself, and I'm going to have some rails going up here that I can get the villagers into their little holes. So, hopefully this is going to be really, really good. But first, we need some villagers, so maybe we should work on that, or maybe the rest of the village. Oh, we need the village to start breeding them, so we probably actually need to do a few houses at least. Okay. Okay, I've come to a decision. We're going to go around the back here, and we're going to do a little bit of a, a tower for a villager breed, essentially. And the tower is going to be around here and it's going to pipeline in the villages which will be inside the villagers training hall so probably like here is probably the best spot and then they'll come down and go in and then i'll have a collection of them in there okay so i'll time lots me building this but the link to the tutorial will be in the description of the one i follow so let's do this
Okay, as you can see, I've got a nice little building right here. I love doing this texture, like these walls here. This looks so good. I'm definitely gonna do this more on my builds, but for now, we've also got a little dirt path on the side so we can get the villages up and in there. But hopefully this should work. Now, I've never, I haven't done this in years, so it may work, it may not, but we're definitely gonna find out. But first, we definitely need some villages over here, so I guess we should go find them. Oh, the reflections here are beautiful. Look at that. That's, that's really nice. Look at that. Oh, our shaders are so good. I love shaders. Hey, that's got a really nice reflection, actually. Oh, look at that tree. Whoa, the reflections are going hard today. Look at this guy. Oh, the sun's going down, but I've got two brand new friends that are coming home with me. And I think I can lead a boat, hopefully. Yes, I can. Oh, this is pretty fun, actually. Look at this. I wonder if you can do that to a player boat. That might be fun. I wonder. Oh, he's like, he's a bit concerned. Look at his face. He's like, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Where are you taking me? <laughs> can I get him out of the water doing this? Oh my God, I can. <laughs> what? Okay, two villagers and we're back at our little place here. Let's go up. Let's go up. Yes. Let's go up, go up, go up, there. go up there. No. Why are you on the roof? You're getting beaten. Get in. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, no, he looked like he was going for him then. He was definitely going for him. Oh, yeah, look at that. And then the baby should go over to the beds. Boop, boop, hip, hip, hooray. You guys got this. Oh, they speak wrong. What is wrong with you guys? So I've read that if you're looking at them, it can actually interfere with the AI. So I may have been the problem there. So hopefully, now I'm so far away, we can get a baby. Please, 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 please. Oh, you idiot. A farm is in. <gasps> oh my god, that was a problem all along. Look at him. And then he goes in and he's down. <laughs> Get wrecked, little boy. <laughs> oh, it works. It works. Okay. So I, literally, I was literally the problem because I was watching them. Like, I knew that was a thing. I didn't realize it was actually a thing. I thought it was like maybe like a myth that I'd like just had like from like the back in the old days of Minecraft. But no, it's actually a thing. Hello there. Oh, would you like some chicken? There you go. Oh, you're me. Now I need to figure out a way to get you in one of these. Um, but yes, grow up first, actually. So I guess I'm going to be doing other stuff while these villagers start pumping guys out. <laughs> They're going to have a lot of fun. All right, it's raining as well, which isn't great. I mean, I love the rain, but not for building. Okay, so now we got that set up. We're going to need a big, nice wall around here to put the villagers in. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to work, but it's definitely going to be pretty big. So we're going to have to start over here somewhere. Okay, walls like this. Yeah, I can see the way these walls working. Now, I'm worried about them spawning on my roof up here. But I'm not sure if they can or not. I don't think so. I think all of it is stairs and other things. Maybe on that top bit, maybe? No, that's stairs as well. I think the roof should be safe. So now the villager houses will go inside this area. I'm gonna have a nice path coming all the way through as well. And I think this area is gonna turn out really, really nice. Oh, it's an eclipsed moon. Look at that. That's cool. Hello guys, any of you gonna grow up soon? Oh, I'm, I'm so glad we've got villagers. I actually really like having villagers around my base. It just makes the whole place like feel more alive, like I'm part of a society. <laughs> I've just like invaded this world and I'm just here at the moment. But now we got some little friends that are going to be enslaved for life. Ah. <laughs> Okay, first off, we're going to do a little bit of a house, probably here. That is two houses down, and this area is starting to come together really well. I'm just wondering how many more houses I want to do, and if I should change it up a little bit now, because we don't want to have all of the exact same houses. Maybe I'll do a few more smaller ones, like maybe one there, and I have a few like dotted here. I think having some sort of ponding here could be awesome as well. I think we can really tie this area together really well. Thank you. 
you know the small little house done i really like doing small little details actually like small details like this like mini little arch for the roof it's just, they're so good i suppose this has been a lot of like tiny little time lapses this video okay so i think having crops around here we'll have the pass coming through as well we can maybe have a little bit of a pond make some fountains and stuff but i think that's all the houses we're gonna do if I need more, I'll do more, but for now, that's okay. Okay, I think it's about time we extend this pathway to the left now and go all the way down to our little bit of a village we've got going on. What the fuck? Oh, I don't like that. What the? <laughs> Those guys are quite creepy. What the hell? Okay, so we got a little bit of a gate on the village now. Look at that. So we come in and we've got Glowberry Village. And of course, the dog will bite. <laughs> the dog is not here yet, but you'll see it later. The dog, it's a, it's a, it's a bad dog. It, it will bite you if you're not careful. All right, you got to be careful, guy, guy. Uh, I've, I've added another sign. Um, the dog bites. Uh, but so does Aubrey, the, the, the child verger that will be in the village as well. Yeah, yeah, he, he's a real, he's a real badder. You don't want to go near him. Oh, a bit, a bit cuckoo in the head. Yes. Okay, now we're in here. Let's build our dog. <laughs> okay, it's definitely not a dog, but it definitely will bite anything that's not supposed to be in here that I didn't do correctly. Uh, I don't even know if I have iron to make a pair of shears and make another one. So I need to go back to my house to get a pair of shears. Okay, so now, da, 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 hello there. Now, I've read, or like I've heard, the ones you make yourself don't harm you even if you hit them. I, 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 <laughs> is this gonna be the death of me? <gasps> you okay? Are you friendly? Please be friendly. Oh, this is gonna kill me. We're okay, aren't we? We're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Oh. I'm sorry for hitting you, but I, some stuff is like science related and it has to be tested, right? And um, we're going to do a little bit of a pond here, I think, but we can't be having it too deep because the, the these guys, you know, these ones, they'll walk in it and get stuck. <laughs> so it may be a shallow pond, but it'll be a pond nevertheless. Where did I leave my stone? My, there's a stone cutter somewhere. Where have I left my stone cutter? God, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to lose everything. Where's everything gone? Oh, Where the hell did I put my stone cutter? Is it in here? Where is my stone cutter? I had a, I had another stone cutter. It might be in the recording. It might not. I, I don't know. It, it's not here anymore. That's that's all I know for sure. Guys, I gotta say, this may be one of my favorite things I've built in this world so far. Look how cozy this is. You come in. We've got some nice little like info bites are here and we come in all the villages in there we've got the defenders we got a beautiful pond right here that's safe for everybody as well we've got some farms in here we've got little areas with actual like working stuff we've got a wheelbarrow working area we've got the shrek hoods okay the last thing we need to do is let some of these villages out so they can populate the area and we need six exactly so we're going to see if we can get six of them out of here five and six there we go Look at this. He's going to go in there. Let's see, I just watch him. Goes for the bed. Oh, we get to his job first. There we go. Oh, this one goes in here. Oh, that's where my... That's where it went. <laughs> okay. Push me right round, baby, right round. Okay, here's a brand new day, a perfect time to do some new builds. Now, all these builds I'm gonna build now are ones you guys have commented. So if you wanna suggest any builds, make sure to comment down below. But let's get to the first one, Mr. LA, what are you doing? Hi. <laughs> so cute. Oh. Okay, so the first build is gonna go right here and it is build a rabbit statue or like a mossy one as well. And at first I'm gonna build the rabbit statue and then I think I'll mossy it afterwards. So let's get to this.
And if we stand all the way back here, I think this guy is sufficiently overgrown. Oh, this, why is this shot so beautiful? What the hell? <laughs> okay, this guy is actually really cute. I, I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> okay, I'm back by the villages. Well, the back of them anyway. And it's time to add another one to the collection because everybody wants another villager all the time. So let's go ahead and start building a new one. Are you happy? I've done another villager. It's right there. I've done it. Oh. Guys, I, I'm actually getting a bit sick of building these now, so just don't ask for it again, all right, please. And something extra you guys did ask for was something along the lines of these, but it's actually to build a shrine for them. And I think down here, right across the bridge, a spot here would be perfect area to look up and worship the villager gods, yes. Uh, so yeah, let's get building that. I'm not even sure how it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. <laughs> so that's how this entire series is made, basically. Okay. So here's how it's going to work. We're going to come up here. We're like, oh, praise the villager, praise the villager. Then you offer up your entire life supplies. They're right out of here. And they get sacrificed to the villager goods. And it's all it's all beautiful. You can live another day. Hey, it doesn't look too bad. I really like having this mix of granite with the stone. I think I can definitely do that in the future again because that looks pretty damn good, actually. Oh, one quick note. I've decided to add um, <laughs> Neverack coming out because it's kind of like they're corrupting and it's like spreading throughout the world. So yeah, this is, this is definitely not bad place and uh, i'm sorry for saying that I, I i'm gonna leave now please don't smite me girl <laughs> gotta do the cooking better book how do you make a cake uh cake uh two sugar an egg and free milk and free wheat okay now i'm actually making a trip to the farm i haven't been over here in ages i kind of built this whole place and didn't really use it the most i get used out of it is to store juan in over there i'm saying his name differently every single time i say it god damn it okay cows let me milk you there we go look how cool the texture is by the way the milk bucket is like overflow i, I freaking love that i got some cool texture packs i have let's make ourselves a cake wow look at that now i don't know if it's a texture pack i've got on or it cakes always have a cherry in the middle they didn't used to i swear cakes never used to have cherries in the middle of them like I, i'm just confused like why is that a thing i don't understand okay for the next comment is to build a pretty cherry blossom tree with some benches and a picnic and i think the perfect spot is right here i want to be able to walk past this and see it all the time because i'm going to make it look as pretty as possible so first let's build a nice little cherry tree Oh, this is not a great place for a picnic. <laughs> Why am I always building this new damn hole? God damn it. Okay. Guys, I don't know how I can make something so beautiful, but it definitely looks beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I definitely have a picnic here. Look at this. You can eat your little cake here, and you can look down at the village where the little iron golems are chilling, doing their jobs. I've noticed this guy has gotten stuck on one of those. Okay, the sun is going down, but for the next comment, it's actually kind of two. Inside the skeleton statue, I can store archery-related items, and then there is you should build a target practice area. Also, I love your videos, thank you, thank you very much. Um, but I'm gonna try and combine the two of these, probably. I'm gonna try and build an archery range, like, onto this. I can probably do it here, right? I think that'd be a good spot. Yeah, let's do it this side. This side has the most clear area, and let's dig out a little bit of stuff. Okay, the sun is sitting down again because I'm spending so damn long building these builds. But we've got a nice little archery range here. Look at this. We've got various levels. We've got like the short, like these weakly ones. Like, look. Oh, oh I didn't realize that happens. They still have a red so sickle when you hit them. That's cool. So, you know, when you hit it at least, that's cool. But yeah, we've got the various levels going up. And then we've got the hardest level right here. But of course, everyone can hit this. I mean, maybe not everyone. Some people are just aren't oh, that good, are they? <laughs> now, there's that. But then we come in here. We've got a nice little archway door here. And we've got some lanterns in here. And we can store all the various archery-related stuff in here. And I've made sure to credit everyone in my world as well. So there's names of everyone's names on everything they suggested, essentially. But yeah, that's pretty good. I'm liking the archery range. The archery range is looking nice. Okay, and on to the next one. We've got build the town toilet. Now, it's probably a much-needed thing. Because I don't know where anyone's been doing their business. I mean, <laughs> I mean, 
don't it's kind of just me maybe i would know uh, i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i can't answer that question but now it's going to go right here so we're going to do a little bit like the shrek shack <laughs> earlier but we're going to do one here i'm going to make it look probably a bit nicer and a bit more intact so let's get to it And of course the bamboo will not grow yet, but it, oh my god, it literally, I've only just planted you. This is how fast these guys grow, they're insane. But yes, we've got the little town toilet here, and of course, this is a lot better than that Shrek Shack thing that was like all the way over there in the town over there. This is for my personal use, so this has to be in tip-top condition. So we come in here, we can close the door, we got a nice little composter there, we got a nice little area with a little light, and you can do all your business in here, and I think, I think it looks really nice. This is all the same kind of wood, but I've mixed and matched it. It's got a nice flat roof. You've got the bits that pull out on the bottom. Like just little details like this. I just, I really, really like it. Okay, I'm gonna sit in my little picnic area here. Oh, I can even take a bite of the cake. There we go, oh, that looks even better. Lots of cherry blossoms on the cake as well. Okay, this is nice. Okay, so this is towards the end of the episode, but first let's have a little recap. We've managed to build an entire village with an entire village of trading hall as well. And this video actually took me two weeks because I had like a break in the middle where I released like another video. Uh, that was like Halloween special. If you didn't watch that already, go watch it. I did a like a quiz questionnaire thing. It was absolutely hilarious. Honestly, most of the stuff I've done this episode has been the entire village and then the rest of it was the building. I gotta say, I am thoroughly enjoying this. And I can't wait to see what you guys comment next because I am looking forward to seeing some cool ideas again. Maybe not stuff like town toilet and like Shrek hut, <laughs> but some actually some cool ones. Like this picnic. This picnic is a great idea. All right, but that's all for me. So, okay. Bye.